like I'm not a human, I don't need to follow the tracks. I'm an animal, I can make my own tricks. Walking next to you may seem to be just another little thing in the world you see, but the truth is it just means so much to me. Oh, I'm gonna wag my tail. Hi everyone, welcome back in a brand new video of PD Ping Dolphin. Yep, that's me. Yes, this video is actually recorded on the same day of the Hunters video. Um this video is actually more of a small video probably and it's going to about tails yet again. I'm going to remake this video because yet again my previous video was one of my first videos and was kind of um, at the worst side of my videos in my opinion. So I think I should, have, should remake this video because I can word things a little bit better right now than I could back then because my, Engli my English has improved ever since then. Tails, um, this actually is about do you need a tail to be a term? A simple answer on this question is no. However, I will also explain why you don't need a tail to be a term. When I first came to the Terran Trophy, like to the Terran community, I saw a lot of people having a tail and without asking anyone a question, I made a, an answer for myself. My answer on this question, do you need a tail to be a Terran, was yes, you need a tail to be a Terran because like, just as you have Christianity, you have Christians, and for Christians, their symbol thing is a cross. So what I thought is, you have Terran Trophy, you have Terrans, and their simple thing is Tails. Now after like a few years in the Terran community right now, I've kinda experienced and I understand now that having a tail is not necessary for being a Terran. Why? Being a Terran, what is a Terran? A Terran is someone who identifies as a non-human being. More spef specifically, a non-human earthen being, in other words, an animal. You identify as an animal, it's the only thing that is needed for being a term. Having a past life, having a soul, having stories of meditation or other dreams is not necessary for being a term at all. It's just it's a tail. A tail is actually, like I explained in a previous video, is actually something that originally wasn't a part of the entropy. In the years of 2008 to 2011, tails were actually something that came up as new in another team, Teen Werewolves, which is a style and nothing really more. It's a style like emo or gothic, uh, like punk or probably even rock. It's about behaving and dressing up and listening to certain music and stuff like that. It's not about identity. It is kind of linked to identity but it's not quite the same. But the atrophy is about feeling, experiencing things within yourself. Now, at this time, probably some young Terran must have seen this and thought it was cool and brought the tails into Terran Trophy. More Terran saw those kiddo wearing tails and began doing themselves because it looks cool. So, over the years, it developed that way that most Terrans right now wear tails or collars or others of such gear. So originally, before 2008, if you ask any Terran before 2008, they will all say that Terran gear didn't exist. Yes, someone could maybe wear a tail or, or a collar, but not everyone did and it, was re it wasn't really well known. Terran trophy isn't about the style, it's about an identity. So wearing those things isn't needed for Terran trophy. However, it's still a fun thing to do if you wear a tail or a collar or anything like that. However, those things might be fun and look cool and look amazing. Like, I love tails, I love seeing tails. Um, but if you are tan and you do wear tan gear or you have a lot of tan gear or you have better quality tan gear and stuff like that, you aren't any more of a tan than a tan without gear. You're just another tan. Of course, everyone is special and. <laughs> Let's go back to the point. However, it doesn't make you any more of a Terran than someone else, it doesn't make you any more special. Yeah, everyone is special, every individual person is unique and have their own style and I, f I, I love everyone out there for being specific, being themselves, being something on their own. Like, everyone is special. However, you aren't worth any more than another Terran just because you're a gear. We're all on the same level. So, Wearing gear is absolutely cool, however it's not needed to be a Terran. Terran trophies do actually have a symbol, like you have Terran trophy, you have Terran, and you have like Christianity, and you have Christian. 
While Christians have this cross thing, Terrans actually have the Theta Delta, which is a Terran symbol, which means And another thing is, I've also had the question once. I am a fish Terran, by example. Can I still wear a tail? Of course! It's not because the tail doesn't really look like a third type's tail that you can't have the tail. You wear a tail because you like it, or because you think it looks cool, or something else along those lines. You don't wear a tail because it's a third type. Some people do, of course, but it's not really a necessity. It's not like it's needed to have it. For example, I'm a also dolphin, but even when I'm shifted into a dolphin, I can still wear my tail just because I like the looks of it. So if you're a cat terrian or you're a fish terrian or you're, or you're a bird, please get yourself a tail if you like tails. Now, I hope you are having fun with the gear you have or with no gear you have. And I really am curious about what your opinion is about tails and any other terrian gear. So please let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about tails and terrian gear in general? Do you like them? Do you think they look cool? Or do you absolutely hate them? Or do you have any other kind of opinion around it? I really am curious and I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope that you could learn something with this. I will see you all in the next video, of course! Woof, pity! All of the forest, all the forest so much. I truly enjoy it over here.